How's it going everyone? Uh, and good morning, especially from my end. It is 8.45 right now. I've been up for probably an hour, got a shower, uh, made some breakfast right here. Um, it may not be looking like the most appetizing, but it tastes good. <laughs> and um, yeah, I have a lot of fat on this plate, a lot of fat and a lot of protein because uh, eggs contain fat, ham contains fat. And the reason I do this is uh, I, I like to eat most of my fat for the day in the morning just because it's kind of it's slow digesting so it uh, fuels me throughout the whole day but I don't only have this I just like having my fats and protein first and then I don't know I like having my carbs second so I usually eat like the meat or the eggs that I have in the morning first and then I may make like a bowl of cereal or make a bagel or have some granola, just stuff like that as a carb source. But I like having them separate. Because if I have them together, I tend to lean more to the carbs than the fats and protein. That It tends to get old for me once I have the carbs. So I like getting this down first and then the carbs. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just a weird way of how I like to eat during the mornings. Um, I'm about to study for a, my first physics quiz in about two and a half hours I take my first physics quiz so I'm gonna study for that and then I have a class right after that and then I have to take I have to go to a small fitness test because everyone that's an exercise science major at my university has to take a fitness test um, once every two semesters and now's my time uh, it won't be hard though it just it they just measure your body fat percentage, um, your vertical jump, your uh, mobility, like how to touch your toes, they measure all that type of stuff. And then next week, I'll do a mile and a half run for it and be done. So it's not it's not terrible, but it's just something I got to do. But um, anyways, I'm gonna study, and I'll hop back on here after I take my quiz and get done with all that that I just mentioned. So hopefully, when I get um, when I return to this. Uh, return to my vlog. I'll be kind of happy about my quiz. Hopefully I'm not crying about it. Uh, I don't think it'll be that hard, but it's it's also my first physics quiz, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect, but hopefully I'll do good. So I will talk to y'all when I get done with that. I just got done with my physics quiz. Um, it went really good, actually. It wasn't that bad. It was a uh, it was a few questions of just solo questions and then we had a group question at the end which that was kind of new for me because I never really went about a quiz like that but I think I made at least like a 95 100 so I'm feeling pretty good right now I haven't been to my other classes yet because I got out of the quiz early I got out about 20 minutes early and I'm just sitting in the parking lot and I thought why not make a small video while I have a protein shake and you know, a banana, <laughs> because I have to get some calories in. Um, one thing that uh, is extremely hard is getting calories in all throughout the day when you have school and the gym to go to and other responsibilities, because you really do have to set aside time to um, make meals and make sure you get them in at a specific well, not a specific time, but like a certain time range, you know, because you can't have like 200 grams of protein before you go to bed. Like that's just, I mean, you could, but it's not, you don't want to do that to yourself. So you need to spread it out during the day. And that's what I try and do. And sometimes I have to do stuff like this, make stuff in advance and have it in my car before class. Um, it's gotten easier though. When I first started this, uh, this summer shredding, and I had my macro set. I was eating 300 grams of protein a day. And I don't know if y'all have ever tried to do that, but it is extremely hard because protein is already filling in itself. And my fat was also set at a low, well not too low, but like average. So I wasn't able to eat stuff like steak, hamburger, uh, pork chop, just, uh, meat like that, protein sources like that. 
I had to stay with lean protein sources like chicken, turkey, those types of things because it has, it's, it's lower fat but it has a lot of protein and that's what I needed. So for that week straight I was just like pounding down chicken, turkey, protein shakes but now it, my um, protein intake has been lowered. So now it's not that bad. I just have to eat like chicken pro chicken or turkey or something like that two times a day. I ate some eggs and Greek yogurt to get some extra protein in. And I usually have one to two protein shakes a day. Usually I have one regular protein shake with whey protein and then casein protein before I go to bed because it's slow digesting. It'll feed my muscles all night. So that's what I've been doing. But yeah, 300 grams of protein is, <laughs> it was a challenge. I'm glad to be down from that a little bit which i'm up for a challenge with this whole thing i'm i was willing to do it but when he said it was lowered i was just like yes not as much chicken anymore because <laughs> it was starting to get just a little bit old but yeah it's uh i go into class in about 12 minutes so i'm just down in this real quick and i will talk to y'all when i'm about to head to the gym we just got done with the fitness test and it wasn't exactly what I thought was going to go on today. As you can tell, I'm probably, I, well, I'm out of breath and I'm really, really sweaty because um, we just ran a mile, a mile and a half indoors, upstairs, in the upstairs uh, running part of the gym. Whew, it has been a while since I've ran more than a mile and dang, it killed me. <laughs> it killed me. It killed me. Um, I really, I enjoy running when I'm not dying. I wish I could be that type of person to just go out and run like five miles and not even be phased by it. But unfortunately, huh, my breathing, my breathing is just like the whole time. It's not even like the pain in my legs. It's like my breathing. But I think I might have fogged up my camera by doing that. But yeah, I'm about to go home and I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to relax for at least a couple hours just to let this die down. Uh, I'll probably eat, I'll eat something to, I really did fog up my camera. I can see it right now, but I'm going to leave it anyways. Um, I'm going to go eat something, just rest, chill for about two hours and then I'll get back to you. And my camera will not be foggy like this next time. <laughs> I'm back at the apartment and this is my little recovery from the run slash pre-workout meal I got some frozen blueberries right here and yeah just some uh, plain apple cinnamon rice cakes I didn't put anything on them because honestly I don't really want anything right now and I have water so yeah um, I'm gonna have this meal right here before I go to the gym um, just to, like kind of refuel from the run I'm also going to work on just a little bit of work in the meantime, kind of like plan out what I need to do after the gym and uh, tomorrow morning before my class. So yeah, that's what I'm going to take care of right now. And the next time you see me, I will probably be in my car at the gym. I finally made it to the gym. I'm about to go do back and biceps. I think I have to do an ab workout today too. So I'm about to go do that. Um, the reason I'm videoing from like the passenger seat area is because the sun is like hating on me straight forward. So we're videoing from over here. But anyways, I'm about to go do my workout. I'm going to include a few clips from it in this vlog so you can see some of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go do it real quick. I can feel, I can feel the pre-workout already kicking in when I, when my pre-workout kicks in, I can feel it in my ears, weirdly, like right here, and then it like runs down my cheek. It's the beta alanine, I know it is, but it's like a tingle, like all through here. And that's what I'm feeling right now. I just, I'm probably talking a little fast because I can feel it kicking in. So I'm going to go in here, work out, and I'll talk to y'all after the workout.
Finished my workout. I'm now having a post-gym meal. Um, nothing special. It's just like a bowl full of shredded chicken and rice with some tomatoes. Probably going to put some hot sauce. Maybe mix some barbecue sauce once I get tired of the hot sauce. But... Anyways, I just wanted to hop on here. Let me get on here. I just wanted to hop on here and um, talk about how I'm feeling with my workouts, my macros, stuff like that. Because that's uh, one of the main points of these vlogs is just to um, talk about how I'm doing with it all. <laughs> how I'm balancing, balancing it all. So... The day I'm making this is Monday, just because I knew I had a busy day and I was just wanted to walk you through one of my busy days instead of just like one of my easy ones where I'm doing kind of nothing except working or maybe going to the gym a little bit. But anyways, I just wanted to say um, so far this week is going good. It's just Monday, like I said, but today's went good. And I'm a firm believer that if you start your week off right, the rest of the week is just going to be perfect. So <clears throat> I feel like you set the tone on Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you just keep doing what you did Monday and you have a great week. So I'm glad I started the week off strong, Had a got the uh, physics quiz out of the way. That was like kind of stressing me out, but it really wasn't that bad. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. In terms of working out, uh, my energy in the gym today was really good. I felt really good working out because I, f I felt good working out and I knew I'd ran a mile and a half before I started working out so that tells me that I had a lot of energy and that makes me feel like I've been hitting my macros on point which I have been I've been tracking them. but it just it just shows that I'm making good progress because the more energy you have in the gym you just like that's a uh, it kind of represents your nutrition, if that makes sense. If you have more energy, that means you are eating well and your body is thanking you for it. So I think my body's thanking, thanking me for it. I'm glad it is because I, after that mile and a half run, oh, just knowing I had to go to the gym after that, do pull and abs, I was like, oh. but I made it through. And we're just enjoying a meal. I'm probably going to do about an hour of work just to end the night, just like a straight hour, probably turn my phone off and just knock out uh, probably like an assignment and maybe uh, study for about 20 minutes and then just like arrange my desk how I want it in the morning to start working. Because I've been, I've been, uh, I've, I've had really good habits here lately. I've been waking up at eight every morning. Uh, sometimes if I go to bed, I, I okay, start over. I go to bed around 12. That's when I get in bed. And I usually wake up at 8. So I get 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night. Sleep is important. Get that. Um, and I wake up at like 8 and do work until I have class. Like school work. Or I may hop on social media and make like a post because that takes some time too. But anyways, I'm, I'm like, I'm working. I'm not just waking up and doing anything. I'm doing something. So I do that. And... I go to class and when I can I sneak in a meal like I did today with um, the protein shake and banana but yeah it's just and then after that it's um, <laughs> after like work school eating gym and then I usually come back home and make a meal eat kind of chill take a shower and I try to at least do another hour of work because I, d I don't like coming back home Coming back home around 6 and not doing anything for 6 hours, that's productive in my opinion. I like taking one hour to do it and then leaving the rest to like kind of relax, prepare for the next day. So I can have a little bit of chill time during the day. But I've kind of like, I've kind of wired my brain to just get in this habit because I I have to get in this habit pretty much to um, be able to accomplish all I want to accomplish during the day. So waking up at 8 for me, I go all day long until at least, at least probably 6. That's probably the earliest I get off where I just like have the opportunity to chill that evening. But even when I get done at 6, I come home 
and now I've fixed food, eat till seven, maybe like work from 7.30 to 8.30 and then I sometimes play a few video games because I, that's like, that's like my, um, my fun for the day, if that makes sense, which I have fun during the day, just uh, working toward my goals, work, uh, working out in the gym. I like, I really do enjoy going to the gym, but I also like playing Rocket League on PlayStation, mm. having like an hour in the evening sometimes, or just watching YouTube. I'm a big YouTube guy. Uh, here lately, I've been watching Drake and Josh because it reminds me of my childhood. So it's important that I do that during the day. I feel like I need to do that because it, it allows me to deal with all that I do during the day. So I really do think about this whole situation is kind of like having a nine to five job, if that makes sense. But I wake up at eight and do it until I can relax, which is usually seven. So that's just what I've been going through. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I just wanted to talk talk y'all about uh, how I'm uh, dealing with all this school, gym, meals, everything. Um, I plan on making like an in-depth video of how I'm doing with it, where I'm just talking about it. This is kind of just to end this one, but. Yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Thank y'all for watching. This has kind of been everywhere, but I've enjoyed making it. So I'm gonna edit it after this and it should be up sometime this coming weekend, Saturday or Sunday when you see this. Thanks for watching again and I'll see y'all next weekend.